So clearly, we're in a different setting, but it's still our fear series, but we're just going to do a little get ready with me, fear series chat, so get ready with me real quick. But today, we're going to talk about the fear of the unknown, as I do my eyebrows. Um, that's like one of the worst, <laughs> the worst things for people like myself, who like to, you know, I'm, I'm a planner naturally, so I don't know, you know, when it began, but... I guess I've always been the type of person who's had to plan everything um, just so I know what's going on. And I think for me, the worst <laughs> the worst thing growing up was like just not knowing. Can't be in control of everything. And I think that's probably really what it is. Can't be in control of everything. The crazy part is being in control of everything doesn't guarantee that it's going to be fantastic. But of course, I don't know that, you know, I'm, you know as a young person. Growing up, took me forever to figure that lesson out. Just because you have control doesn't mean that it's best. So anyway, um, I, I often uh, try to you know bring analogies to these story story times or these lessons that I've learned. And it's kind of like when you're a kid and you're um, at the little jungle gym or like like Chuck E. Cheese or what's the other places that have ball pits. Um, as a kid, I wasn't really that kid who would just go and like jump in a ball pit because I didn't know if I was going to fall or hurt myself. I was a very cautious child. Plus, I was always like the tall kid, so I also didn't want to hurt anybody. Um, a lot of thinking for a little kid. But, um, but you know, I was never that kid to just jump in to the ball pit and be like, yay, we're having a good time. I've always been really, really super cautious. Um, and I know that that has gone into my adulthood, but it's become a little bit better. Thank God, because it's really annoying. Um, but it's just really hard not to know what the future is gonna hold and you know, and you try to like plan things. And what I've found is that in my adulthood, I will miss the moments. I'll miss the good moments because I'm like thinking about what's next. Um, I'll be so focused on like, okay, what is the entirety of this? Um, without, without really like being in the moment. And I think it was, it probably took me until I was in college and my friend, one of my really dear friends was like, counseling me um really fussing at me but like she was letting me know like you have to like live girl like be in the moment like you're alive now be here like be present um and just think about what is happening in the now I think for me of course the little planner in me that that was really like a, a tough thing for me to do and I of course I was like it was like weird because it's like I'm always used to my uh, my natural my natural state is always thinking about somebody else so always taking care of everybody you know always thinking for everybody else you know thinking to do things for other people I'm not really giving myself enough attention and time um, so for me that was like okay how do I just be in the moment instead of you know thinking okay what's what do I have to do next? What does this person need? How can I assist? Like, how can I be, um, how can I surprise them? How can I level on them? And I really was neglecting myself. Like, I legit wasn't giving myself enough time to even live. So, lesson learned, you know. In the moments that you have, you have to enjoy what's happening and that's not to say that you can't plan because the bible does say to write the vision and make it plain and to me that means you can have a plan like you want to plan for success you want to plan for the best things because blessings will come and you want to be prepared i, I believe um i know steve harvey said it but my mom also always said how can you expect a blessing if you don't have room for it so that is like one of my biggest things plan make that plan write it out you know 
make it evident for yourself when this comes here's what I want it to look like when or it, you know whatever and just and just work towards whatever that is if it never comes that's okay because you've enjoyed those moments and you're you know at least you wrote it down and it's like okay this is ultimately what I want but still just remember to live because the fear of the unknown you know it will either halt you and stop you from being in that moment it can halt you from going to the next level that's another thing that I've also dealt with is like I'm so like unsure of what's to come that I'm just gonna stay here because it's comfortable like I know this so I'm just gonna sit still because this is what I know and that also is is not really productive at least not for me um, but you know we become so complacent and so comfortable that you can literally halt your blessings and that's not because God can't bless you because he can't he can always bless you he's always going to bless you you know he's always he's literally always going to bless you no matter what but you can halt a blessing he's not a forceful God so he's not gonna be like you know what no you have to do this you have to be successful no you don't you have choice literally every person the Bible says, and this is where people get the Bible wrong. <laughs> the Bible says the race was not given to the swift or the strong, but time and chance happens to us all. That is, that is what the Bible says, right? Which basically means we're not given this specific path or this specific level of success or this specific level of wealth because we are the best, the strongest, the fastest, whatever. Like the, the most intellectual, whatever. It is, it is like everybody literally has the same time and chance that they're given like within of course not the same years whatever but we all have time and chance and while you have time and while you have the chance to do things you should write your visions down work towards them and like make it plain to yourself like okay here's what I want to do and then you have something to reach for like you literally are able to be like okay this is what I want this is what I ultimately want to see for myself. And I'm sure you'll have your, you know, your... Whoa! Drop things. I'm sure you'll have your own, you know, reasonings for why you want these things. And it's alright for you to actually write those down too. Why do you want these things? Understand, actually somebody that I was just in a meeting with, um, he said something that I always say is what is the why like what's the reason why do you want that who what when where and why is very important in goal setting in my opinion um, um you know you just you just got to know what you got to know what the purpose is you have to like not have to but it has been found for me um to be happy and to be contented and to be okay with wherever you are not fearing what could or would not happen just living in that moment and still keeping your focus on your goals like you have to you know, got to know the goal but still live in those moments that you're given because there's blessing in the moments there are blessings in those moments even if you haven't reached what you want to reach yet there are blessings in the moments and it's okay to have a little bit of apprehension of the future, but it's n what what isn't what I found for myself at least is not okay to sit and be so afraid of what may happen or what may not happen that you don't try. What's the what the saying is? Um, there's a lot of sayings in here today. Um, you can't fail without trying, or you, there's no success without trying. One of those things. Somebody comment below. What what's the saying? But like, if you don't try, you don't you don't know. If you never try it, you never give it your all, if you never really wholeheartedly, you know, do something. And that's another thing. And this is this is like a big thing for me. A tr there's a difference between trying and, and, and wholeheartedly putting your effort into something and halfway trying it. That's what my, my mom always told me. Don't be halfway doing nothing, right? And for me, that is like the biggest thing. Like, don't don't say you're going to try something and only halfway put your heart in it especially if it's something that you want if you want something you got to go for it if you jump in the pool you're not halfway jumping in the pool you got to commit 
because when you get in the water, <laughs> that, that's just what it is. You're wet at that point. But you just, you just go for it, you know? You take proper precautions, you know, if you need goggles for the pool, um, if you need a life vest, if you can't swim, these, please do not jump in the pool if you can't swim, okay? There should be a lifeguard on duty. That is not what I am encouraging you to do. However, you get the point. If you want to do something in your life and you are afraid of what could happen, might not happen, whatever the case may be, I can only encourage you what I have found to be helpful. Yes, you're going to be afraid. You're going to be like apprehensive. Yes, you're going to try to, you know, figure out the safest route. Um, you're going to weigh out all the options and all those things. If you're, if you're wise, you will do all these things. However, do not allow fear of not knowing what's going to happen halt you from enjoying what you do have enjoying what is there now okay when i first started doing my own makeup it was so basic and it's maybe it's still basic because i'm no makeup artist or whatever um but my friend took me to a class like had a little class and it was fun it was just like you know for me it was just it's a fun experience to hang out with my people then but um i really learned some things that i liked but i was so afraid to <laughs> And you don't think you can't be afraid of this, but I was so scared to like mess up. But um, you know, but you find that no matter what, life is gonna present you with stuff that you can use, right? But some stuff is not for you, you know. There was some techniques, you know, maybe there was some techniques that I personally didn't enjoy, right? For my own self. So I don't use them, right? But in the time that I did use them, it was okay then you learn what works for you i didn't allow that fear to like overtake the situation we're not doing that you're gonna walk in what you you know walk in that moment knowing that you don't know everything and that's just the properties of life we don't know everything we're never gonna know everything okay until jesus comes and he'll let us know what we need to know all that good stuff but you're never gonna know everything enjoy the moments Enjoy the moments and do not let fear of not knowing what could happen halt you from what God has for you. Remember to love God because he is the source of real love. Remember to love yourself and appreciate who God created you to be. Keep pushing toward those goals. And while you're getting all that love, remember to love on others because that is the way that your world will continue to go around. I love you so very much. Bye.